Hello and welcome back. This is Seismic Floor in Price Cycling Manager 2018, and we are in stage five of uh, La Vuelta. So we can see again uh, Rigoberto Oran, our rider here, is amongst the favourites. Um, I think what we'll try and do is keep everybody fresh for this last little climb and send somebody up the road. Although, if we have an opportunity earlier on, we'll do that as well. Anyway. We'll, uh, we'll crack on. The reverse of yesterday. The riders start in Granada and head towards the coast for a finish in Roquetas de Mar. That means that most of the 188 kilometer stage is raced at altitude. But despite the uneven terrain, there's little in the way of real climbing. The only major obstacle, the second category Alto El Marshal, comes close to the end. The 1,010 meter summit is crossed after an 18 kilometer climb at a little over 3%. From there, it's 26 kilometers to the finish. Downhill and then flat all the way to the line. Plenty of outsiders will have noted the detail. A small group of riders are trying to get clear of the bunch. So the brake's pretty big. We've got the, uh, the white jersey. Petili there, and also the green jersey. Which is the points jersey of uh, Sander Arme. Lots of teams in here, three UAE Emirates, three Confidis, three Uskati uh, riders, a couple, uh, couple of smatterings as well. Actually, we've got four of those. Yeah, four of that group there. A couple of Burgos. It'll be pretty much up to uh, up to us to do something here, I think. But for now, we'll let them uh, we'll let them do their thing. It's a very choppy uh, up and down course, but so far, relatively little. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. But so far, relatively little has happened. Other than the breakaway, went up to about lead went up to about six minutes. Slowly coming down. Um, we've got uh, Mustache Docker helping out in the front of the Palaton. Yeah, I, I think the main the main bits of movement will be around those uh, those last two intermediate points towards the end of the stage, in particular those mountain points. A little bit of a strain put on the uh, on the group there. Lost one out the back, but that's it so far. Everybody else looks a little bit stretched. We're nicely positioned at the front of the group here. And there's only about two minutes to the uh, two and a half minutes to the front of the race. We're still going hard. The teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. The rider has fallen and he's not getting back up. It looks like he'll have to abandon the race. The fast pace at the front is too much for several riders. A fall has just happened in the peloton. Several riders are on the ground. We might lose our uh, one of our team spots today. The pack is slowly whittling away the lead. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Big gaps back here. Looks like Docker and Clark are trying to trying to get back across. Might make it into this uh, fourth group here on the road. Or is it second? Well, I hope. Peloton's definitely a lot smaller. Arme's going for the, uh, the far out win. Question is, do we uh, do we have a run attack over the top? Two minutes between the peloton and uh, the rest of our team, splintering in the groups behind. Lagavelle's just dropping back as well. It's all going on. And down the hill here. Woods and Roland get back to Langevelt. They'll struggle to get back to the Peloton though. He's trying to go again. 
The Entente and the escape group is far from cordial. There are a couple of riders who want to go in alone. That's really a punchy attack. Might still be able to get on. Docker just going over the top there. Pierre Roland has fallen. That's a group nosedive. But as often happens, they're all getting back in the saddle. That's twice in the race. Oh, Pierre's done. Pierre is done. Today. That's a shame. The riders are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. Wonder if there's any sprinters. Oh, Peter Sagan's left in the group, so yes, there are sprinters left in there. So Roland likely to be our first, uh, our first victim. Remaining. If you saw the Tour de France videos, we lost three in the first five stages. So uh, that didn't help. Definitely going to plummet in the uh, the old team ratings here. Breakaway's still going. I reckon the breakaway's got this. Arme looking for another win. And there's an attack at the front. He could go all the way. Five kilometers remaining. Mendes, Prades, all very uh, all of these riders very prevalent in the uh, the early attacks, the early breakaway stages. I think he's going to hold off. I think these are going to hold off. That's the uh, Flamme Rouge coming up there, I think. No chance of victory. There goes the sprint. The strong men are giving their all. Another attack. This time it could go all the way. Another victory for his record of achievements. He was able to handle the pressure put on him by his fellow escapees. Thought we'd try and steal some, uh, steal some seconds there, but we only managed to get in a in a top ten. There we go. Docker doing a doing a pretty decent job getting himself back into some form there. Simon Clark struggling a little bit. He was forced to get some bottles. Van Aersbrook did well, and unfortunately. Pierre is done. So yet another breakaway win. Uh, Monday's taking it from uh, Arme, Sander Arme. We managed to uh, get the sprint out. Sort of wondering whether we should have attacked over the top, but it was all quite busy, in all honesty. Danny Moreno in the main group. And Woods and Woods Lang and Langerfeld in the uh, in the follow-up group. So, Sander Arme and Mundes have both jumped us to put Rigoberto around down in eleventh. Danny Moreno is now up in twentieth. Michael Woods back in about the same position in thirty-six. Uh, overall. Got some points, but we're nowhere near Arme. Pardilla only just in front on the uh, the mountain stages. All change again at the top of the uh, youth standards with uh, Lambrecht now at the top. And we've dropped down behind UAE Emirates on the team ranking, but only by five seconds. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel if you do. But for now, thank you for watching.